This is a writing class for Leo, and it's June 10, 2013, and the class is about to begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to be moderating the session. Uh, let me get started with uh, moving. Okay, so we won't have that in the way. And then I'm going to also move my webcam. So let me uh, do that. There we go. All right, so you can see me uh, in the center. All right, so this is Leo. And it's the first writing practice. We've talked about uh, parts of speech. We talked about parts of a sentence, the subject and the predicate. And now we're going to talk about the whole thing. You're going to start your first task. And the task is going to be a writing task about you. All right, so let's get started. Well, what about you? Okay, I have an about me. It's actually a uh, technology. It's a program where you can uh, get a link to about yourself. And if you're interested in getting a job, if not today, maybe in the future, this is a good way to get your bio together, your profile, so that you can share it with the world and get another job or a better job or a future job. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this looks like. Okay, so I'm going to screen share and take you right there. So are you ready? Okay, it's initializing. It's going to start in a second and then we'll be on our way. Okay, let's take that out of the way and don't block. We don't want to be blocked. And here we are. All right, so now we can share. So let me take you to about me. This is about me, and um, I'll get the link for you. You can create your About Me. You don't have to upgrade. It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free, and you can get a background and write about yourself. In addition, you can also uh, notice what I have here. It's like a social network, so you can have uh, connected to your Twitter, to your Facebook, and so on. Okay, so it's really a nice tool and you might be interested. All right, so let's go back to class. We've got the link and um, let's take a look at how you're going to do it starting this week. Okay, that's the assignment for this week. So I'm going to add this to the chat so you can get it later on when you're viewing the recording. Okay, so look put that down. If you don't know, uh, my name is Nellie Deutsch. Okay, I'm a doctor. I have uh, a doctorate in education, curriculum, and instruction. I teach online at the University, at Atlantic University and University of Phoenix. I am involved in teaching English. I've been teaching English for many, many years, both face-to-face -face and online, and I love it. But I also teach other subjects like technology, and mindfulness, psychology, writing, different things because I like variety. So that's really important because we're going to be talking about that today. So let's take a look. Um, I'm going to put my webcam at the bottom so it doesn't bother us here. So let's take a look at the task for this week. You're going to write about yourself. You're going to call it about me, but you can, of course, put your title here. It's a profile. You're going to create a PowerPoint presentation on Google Drive. You're going to give the document a title. You're going to share the document with the world. In other words, you are going to make it public. You're going to copy the link that Google Drive generates for you. And you're going to add it to the course feed on Leo course. But you're also going to add it to a Google Drive document. 
and I'm going to share that with you. So when you talk about yourself, okay, who am I? You're going to write about three parts. You're going to write about your family, your family background, a little history, where you were born, where your parents were born, and you can go as far as you wish. In addition, you're going to write about qualities. If you don't understand any of these words, for example, let's take a look. You're going to be using a dictionary and it's called Google Translate. I'm sure you have heard of Google Translate. So let me just demonstrate how this works. Okay, we'll get a color and we're going to put a box around the word qualities. This is what I want to check in different languages because I don't know what language is yours. And by the way, I've been using Google Translate with people and it seems like I know their languages because they write to me in Spanish and I answer them back in Spanish and I don't know Spanish at all. But I am learning because actually Google Translate is helping me. So I'm going to write the word qualities in English. And notice in Polish it's czejo, whatever. In French it's qualité. In Dutch it's qualitaten, whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce this. And then I can go to other languages. Notice how many languages. In Tamil, there it is. Isn't this fun? Now, if you want to hear how it's pronounced, you can go to over here and listen, listen. Qualities. In English. In the other language, how do you pronounce that? Okay, I can't do it this way, so I'm going to do it the other way. And this is how it's done. I'm going to take this word, copy it. Notice what I'm doing. I know that it means qualities, and it's Maltese. I'm going to put it here. Now, if I don't know what language, I can ask, detect the language. Okay, and notice it doesn't have a pronunciation. They don't know how to pronounce it. So let's find another word. Okay, let's go to qualities again, but this time we're going to translate to a language that they know, okay, until we find one. Okay, so let's see. Turkish. Here we are. Listen to how you say qualities in Turkish. Did you hear that? Again. Now, you're not interested in learning Turkish, right? You're interested in learning English. So this is how you listen to the word before you translate or after. Qualities. Did you hear that? And then you'll have examples. Show example of usage of word. And then you have lots of examples. If you don't understand, you can translate. So you put that over here. Let's say you don't know and your language is Turkish, for example. I'm going to put that here, paste it, and then listen in Turkish. Her iki türevleri birbirinden ayırıyordu. Nitelikleri bir grup var. Oh, I love the sound of Turkish. Sorry. They're the two languages that I, that I really love. One is... Uh, Syrian and Iran. I love uh, the Iran language. Don't ask me why. And Turkish sounds the same. It's almost like Swedish. All right, so let's listen to the English. Both variants have a bunch of qualities which set them apart from each other. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? All right, that's technology and Google is getting better and better. So that's the, uh, the translation. And now let's get back to class. We're going to stop sharing. So basically what you want to do is you want to write about your family background and the qualities that you have. You can say you are a very warm person. You love your family and you're a warm person because generally the qualities that we have comes from our families. Okay, it's the kind of family that we belong to. Next, you're going to talk about your work, okay, and your work experience. Now, if you've never worked before, that's okay. You can talk about volunteer work or even housework, what you do in the house, because housework is work too. And you're going to talk about skills. Now, if you're a housewife, you have a lot of skills. 
think about all the things you do in the house that's work and everybody develops skills no matter what even if you've never worked in your life and you've done things around the house maybe you do gardening maybe you fix different features in the house maybe you can cook whatever you can do these are skills so when you talk about your work if you've never worked before you can talk about your experience in different skills next is your education now if you've only finished high school you talk about that but if you've taken courses different kind of online courses and other courses you can simply write about the skills that you developed you might develop skills from not taking any courses you might develop skills from doing it yourself maybe you build things with your hands well that's kind of a, a combination of education maybe you learned it and maybe also work experience so maybe with your education you used it to work so notice everybody can fill in and answer the three aspects of who they are your family background everyone has a family and if you're not sure of your family you can always check and then there's your work experience and the skills the things that you do it doesn't have to be an official job it could even be a fun job or a hobby that you've been doing. Hobbies help us develop skills. If you collect stamps, if you collect CDs, music, whatever you do, these are all skills that you develop and remember that. Next, your education. All right, I hope there aren't any questions. If there are, you'll have a chance to add your questions to the course feed for Leo. And let me take you to two places where you can ask questions and get immediate feedback from me or from the other participants. So let me share that with you right now. All right, so let's go there. First of all, let's go to the course. Okay, this is the course. It's called Leo for You. The course started a long time ago, but it's ongoing. So we keep everything from 2012 and so on. Okay, so if you scroll down, you'll get the latest, but you might want to go through all of these to lots of information. Okay, this is in the course where this is where the content is. You might want to go to the course feed, that's where the conversation is going to be. Okay, so you're invited to introduce yourself and add the link. You see, here is a live class, and you can come in if you happen to be here. 455 people registered, and I don't see even one, but that's okay. You'll be able to view the recordings and try to join next time. There's a class every week for three months. It's a three-month cycle, and then we take a little bit of time off. And sometimes we take time off during the three months. All right, so let's take a look at, okay, this is the PowerPoint presentation that you're seeing in the lot. And here you can add your comments. Did you understand everything? You can also view the details of this PowerPoint presentation. You can also download it. Isn't that wonderful? And here it is. Okay, you can go through the different slides. You can like it and you can add your comments add questions okay here you like and you can add your comments here okay so there are lots of places to add comments and the more you ask questions the better your English will be and you'll be so much happier because that's how we learn we learn by asking questions sometimes the question is more important than the answer so keep asking questions so that's one place where I can get answers. Another place is right here. Now notice what I did here. I shared the PowerPoint presentation that I created on Google Drive. And today, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Google Drive. Now take a look at the top right. I need to sign in to be able to access it. Okay, so let's do that right now. I'm going to add my email. Okay, so I can access it. My. If you don't have a Gmail account, you don't need to have one, but you should. Okay, you should get a Gmail account because 
Google has wonderful things and Google Drive is just amazing. And that's what we're going to do. And every live class, the participants work together. So here is the PowerPoint presentation that you see in the live online class. Now I'm going to share the link with you. And this is how I do it. The top right I share. See, I made it public. Look, you see? Anyone with the link. Not completely public, but anyone with the link. And then I can let them comment or edit. Here you can comment, okay? Because this is mine. I don't want you to write on it. Okay? So let me take the link. Here is the link. This is where you get the link so you can share it. Do you see it? And then done. Where did I get it? Right here. Share. So I click on share and then here is the link and I copy it. Now I'm going to add it to the live class. Okay, I'm going to add it. Let me stop sharing. Here we are. And it should be right here. Okay, so I will add it to the live class. All right, so the live class is here at the bottom. In order to get to the live class, I'm going to click over here. Okay, and I'm going to get to the tools. Okay, so here's my media player. Let's go back to the screenshot because I want to show you some other things before uh, we go on. Okay, we don't need this. Okay, we're right here. Okay, so let's um, continue with, uh, we've been here, so I've signed it. Okay, this is the form. Okay, I'm going to share this, but this is the form that you're going to fill in. Notice, ah, oh, there's someone here. Well, welcome. Okay, so notice that I made this public, and here, look what I did. I gave everyone editing rights, because what I want you to do is I want you to add your full name, and then the link to the PowerPoint presentation that you're going to create. And let me show you how that's done. Okay. I'm going to go right here. Notice if I click over here. Okay, nothing happens. There, you see it? If I click over here, I have to click right next to the presentation. Look what I get. I get this. Now I can create a... PowerPoint presentation. You see all my documents in Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Create. When I click on Create, look what happens. I'm on the left here. So I'm going to go to the presentation. Not a document. A pre click on that. And then look what comes up. Okay, lots of themes for a presentation. Now I like this one. I like this one too, but I'm going to choose that one because I like the blue. It's a very nice blue, isn't it? And I need to give it a title. So what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it About Me because I'm going to write about myself, remember? About me. And then I can write here Nelly Deutsch because it's going, that's my name, right? Okay. And then notice where I go on the top left. I'm going to click on Untitled, so I can give it a title. I'm going to call this About Me for Leo, so I don't get mixed up. Okay, this is for Leo, not for something else. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top right. Okay, top right. And I'm going to click on it so that I can share it. Right now it's private. You see, it's private. Private. I'm going to click on Change and make it anyone with the link can view. I don't want people to write. Or I want them to comment. I like when people comment. They give me ideas. So I'm going to share for comments. Okay, and then I can share it with Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I'm going to done. Okay, so did I take the link? Because don't forget I have to add that link on the document. 
All right, so this is about me. Do you like it? I think it's nice. Now, if I want to add more slides, notice I go to the top right and I add more slides. There's another one and another one. You see, there are lots of things. I can also add an image. Okay, I can add it from Upload, Google Drive, my albums, or by a link. Okay, lots of... Oh, I can take a snapshot. Let's take a snap. There I am. All right, so I can take a snap. I don't look very good, do I? All right, so let's take a snapshot. Hello. And I'll select that. And I can add it. Look what happens. I can add the snapshot. Okay, it's uploading. It's going to take time, but at least I can do it, right? Or I can also take, as I said, from my albums or upload from my computer. Ooh, it's taking a long time. Okay, so uh, maybe I should forget it for now. But trust me, it works. Okay, and it would come here. I can also add video. Where do I add video? I go to insert. And here's a video. I can add video. How do I add video? I can add search for it or I can add the link. But it's only from YouTube. So let me write uh, Moodle 2.5. I know I'll get this. Or let's see. Uh, engage. Engage on the world stage. This is by Jason R. Levine. I think you're going to like it. There, Jason R. Levine. Okay, I added that. So I click on that. And here, look what happens. Here it is. Okay, so it's. I can give it a title. Well, this is not connected to About Me, even though Jason is a good friend, Jason R. Levine. But, you know, just uh, to show you how to add a PowerPoint. Now, I can make this as big or as large as I want. I don't need this. Okay, I can make it large or I can make it small. It doesn't matter. But look what happens when I go to present. Okay, I'm going to present. Notice on the top right, okay, I can also uh, present. And I open up, it says present from beginning, present with speaker notes, present in a new window. All right, let's present from the beginning. Oh, I can also add animations I didn't show you. Okay, here are the slides. I can make them move. Isn't that nice? Now, let me, oops, let, I wanted to play Jason's, uh, there, oops. Okay, let's play Jason's music. There we go. You ready? All right, everybody, let me see you put your hands together. If when you learn, you're entertained. And when you're entertained, you learn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo -hoo, hoo. M double O to the D L E. F to the O to the O to the C. We're in the mood, oh, mood. In Wiz IQ. As a crew, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. do, do. Here we see the words. As a group, we pass. The loop is all we are, wherever we are, near and far, we align to learn, we yearn to connect, our intellects intersect, reflect and inject, much love into our projects, with mutual respect, there's no limit to our prospects. We yearn to connect, our intellects intersect, reflect and inject, much love into our projects, with mutual respect, there's no limit to our prospects. We're in the mood of mood. In Wiz IQ, as a crew, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. We're in the mood, oh, mood. In Wiz IQ, as a crew, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. For a massive class to have class and be a blast, it has to surpass this other class of loops they call moves. Don't Seal the real deals, the seal. We gotta socially engage on the world stage. For a massive class to have class and be a blast, it has to surpass this other class of flukes they call moves. Don't conceal the real deals, the seal. We gotta socially engage on the world stage. Do it with me now. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Socially engage on the world stage. Socially engage on the world stage. M to the O to the D L E M to the O to the O to the C All right, I just love Jason R. Levine and I love rap and I love 
looking at words as uh, a wrapper wraps. All right, so this is our PowerPoint. I just wanted to show you how you can present. And it's so exciting. You can present, you can add comments, and of course you can share. So it's really exciting. But I've got the link, remember? And I'm gonna take it to my Google Drive to this place. Oh no, it's not this one. I'm gonna take it to, oh, did I lose it? Here it is. Nope, I guess I lost it. Isn't that amazing? Okay, here it is, I'll find it. All right, so this is my Google Drive document. This is where you're going to share the link. You're gonna add your full name. This was supposed to be a live interactive. So let me just put my name because I'm the only one here. All right, here we go. There we are. And then I'm gonna put the PowerPoint link. Remember, I got it. I think I did. Okay, there it is. Now I'm gonna hyperlink that. How do I hyper? I go boom, there we go. Now it's hyperlinked. And if you click on it, you can go there. Let me show you how I go there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we are. Remember, this is it. And there's Jason in the third slide. All right, so that's how it's done, basically. Now let's go over it a little more slowly so you get what I mean. All right, so are you ready? Of course you are. All right, so this is who I am next. Okay, so next, what are we gonna do? We're going to take a look at this. Okay, so this is what we did so far, all right? We, first of all, went to Google Drive. We created, see create, we opened up the create and we got a presentation. That's what we did. And then we made it, remember we shared it because he wanted the link. All right, and then we went here, we added our full name and the link to the PowerPoint slide. And then we added a YouTube video. Here is mine. This is on education. It's by Sir Ken Robinson. And he says that education is a personal process. It's people who learn. That's what it's about. It's about you, people, and me. I'm a people too. I'm a person. But we are people. All right. And then we talked about the Google Translate and I showed you how you can translate in different languages and you can also hear it in most languages. Okay, but Google's working on it and it should be ready very, very soon. Let me just add back, oh, there I am. Okay, so we add, let's take a look at this. We add a word in English or whatever language we want. If we're not sure of the language, we add and then Google Translate will detect. Google Translate knows the language. They will figure it out. Isn't that amazing? Actually, Google has a smart, a smart, like a smartphone. It's a very smart program. And then you can translate from English to Portuguese, or from Spanish to English, or from French to Spanish, and so on. You can also, okay, go this way, and you can go the other way. <laughs> All right, so that's a lot of fun, and you can hear. Okay, this is it. This is the audio. If you click on that, you'll be able to hear the words or the sentence being read in that language, whether it's English or another language. So I think that's really, really exciting. And that's it. So I'd like to thank you for coming. Uh, and I hope you'll watch this and follow. Everything will be on, where? On course, of course, on the courseware. So again, I'm going to screen share to take you through the step by step once again in case you've forgotten. So let's go over that again. Okay, you ready? 
All right. So first of all, I've shared the PowerPoint presentation that I created with you. How do you share a PowerPoint? You go to share and then you can make it public where anyone with the link can comment. That's all they need to do is just comment. You don't want them to do the work for you or to mess it up, even though you can undo it. Next, you get the link. Okay, so let me do that. I get the link and I'm going to add it to the document. So let's go to the document. Where is the document? Did I lose it again? Ah, here is the document. You got to write your name on this document. Before that, there it is. I'm going to put that on. Well, actually, it's in the uh, when you watch the recording, you will see it in the chat. Click on it and you'll be able to get here. So you have to watch the recording in order to do all this. All right. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you next week or the week after. OK, or in July. So bye for now and thank you so much for joining the class. And I hope that uh, if 455 people sign up, that they turn up because this was supposed to be an interactive class and I'm sorry that uh, no one came in in time.